What's up, YouTube? It's Robert, and I've got an awesome video for you guys today. Uh, this is a 2017 Wolverine all-aluminum two-car hauler. I have been looking at buying one of these for about two months now, and I finally broke down and went and got one yesterday and I wanted to shoot a real quick video here tonight and show you guys all about this trailer. When I was looking at purchasing this trailer, there was not a lot of information on this particular brand uh, on the internet, just their dealers and then some spotty information here or there. They're a small manufacturer in Michigan, so I'm, hopefully this video will help somebody else who's making a decision of purchasing one of these Wolverine trailers. Uh, give you a little more information about how they're built. They offer this in a 22, a 26, and then the big boy, which is the 34 that we have here. So this is built off of a uh, two inch by seven inch aluminum tubing. Uh, it is a wood deck trailer that kind of cuts down on the cost of the uh, expanded aluminum decking that they usually put like Sundowner uses. And that's what keeps this trailer in the budget area that it has been that, it, that we purchased it in um, but it's a extremely well built very nice looking trailer uh, aluminum ramps that store up front here um, they pin in uh, right here at the uh, at the front rub rail and um, they're pretty sturdy they don't make a lot of noise they're not moving around a lot and they are right at six and a half almost seven feet long so they're uh, a good length um, the one of the only metal parts on the trailer is the coupler and it is a painted steel coupler, um, and then they to, they put this isolating material uh, between it and the uh, the beams. So it's bolted in there. I, that was something that kind of made me go, oh, really? It's not welded. But apparently on these aluminums, this is how they attach the couplers because a lot of the trailers I've looked at on other manufacturers are done the same way. Uh, one of the only areas on the deck that is aluminum is the aluminum tread plate dovetail in the rear. And uh, it's a little thin, but it is gusseted very well um, for underneath it, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Full LED lighting package looks really great. They're clear during the day and then, of course, red at night. Two rear, the jacks in the rear stabilize it as you load and unload vehicles. The trailer did not come with rub rails and stake pockets, however it did come with D-rings about every four feet down both sides and they are bolted to the aluminum cross members. So this trailer did come with 16 inch aluminum mag wheels and radial tire package which is really stinking expensive if you've ever looked at putting these on a trailer. You usually don't see this kind of wheel package on something but like an ATC or a Featherlite. Um, comes with a full size matching spare and these tires are nitrogen filled so you don't have to worry about you know them leaking i'm just kidding of course they'll leak if they get a hole but they're nitrogen filled so it plays along the whole lightweightness of the trailer uh, and then it's also you know really sturdy looking uh beam there holding that spare tire on so they came with these running boards and they're only on the back and the only thing i can assume is that these guys make boat trailers and so this is the standard boat trailer fender that they have in their arsenal so looking underneath here, you can see the tongue here. You got three two by seven inch pieces of uh, aluminum tubing, which then runs all the way the length of the trailer and then has another stack of two by seven aluminum tubing on top of that, which makes up the deck frame. Uh, cross members every 16 inches. Um, and then the axles back there um, have their own beam subframe system that they're sitting on as well. At the dovetail, you can see the, uh, the, um, the uh, aluminum tread plate back there and then how they've gusseted the uh, dovetail there. And what they did is they, they just cut one of the aluminum seven, the two by seven beams at an angle um, and then they angled down the top beam to meet that. So that's how they did that. And that's supposedly, that's supposed to be a very strong, um, sturdy way of, of doing that rear there. So we'll see. Um, now, like I said, the only uh, pieces on this trailer that are really steel are the coupler and then the um, hangers for the axles that's the aluminum uh, beam there over the axles and then you can see the axles themselves are actually galvanized and then the uh, hangers uh, and the leaf springs are painted so anything that's on that's that's aluminum and metal either galvanized or it is painted with some type of a barrier between the two um, any any steel is connected to another galvanized piece so you can see the construction down here is pretty standard trailer construction but it looks good all the welds are right so we'll see how well it holds up to the abuse of us on the road 
Uh, with all that being said, the weight of the trailer is 3,420 pounds, which is really lightweight for a 34-foot, 21,000-pound triple axle trailer. If you are, look at two-car haulers, you'll know that things like uh, the Big Tex tubing trailers are like 30, 4,400 pounds. Um, this comparable trailer to this would be a uh, Texas Pride, which the Texas Pride in the same size weighs 70 100 pounds so almost half of what the steel comparable trailer is um, now this trailer we we're out the door taxes and everything seventy eight hundred dollars for this trailer 34 foot twenty one thousand pound triple axle with this wheel package out the door for seventy eight hundred dollars you can't even buy a kaufman and put the tire and wheel package on it for that price you will be over that so a extremely good value for a budget aluminum trailer um awesome awesome build these guys are trying to get their name out there so they're selling trailers that cost pretty much um, there's a huge demand for it i waited a month to get my trailer in order so this has been a real quick video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, of course, you know, send me a message, comment, uh, like, subscribe, share. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And when I get uh, pulling the trailer on the road for a little bit, I will be sure to do a full review video on my likes and dislikes. Peace out, YouTube. See ya.